Oh my goodness. Can I just say I'm such a fan of everything you've got going on? <laughs> you certainly can. Do you want an autograph or something? You're so funny. I don't get autographs. Do you want one? <laughs> I'm good. But how can I help you? I just see everything you're doing. In the ring, you're winning. You're awesome. Outside of the ring, movies, web shows, and that adorable captive audience thing. By the way, I totally got how the title was playing off your nickname. I don't think most people did, but I got it. Anyway, the one thing I think is missing from the whole Cap Charismatic universe is me. No offense, but I'm not really looking for a tag partner right now. Hmm. But are you looking for an assistant? You do have a lot going on and I'd be great at it. I can get you in and take you to all the best spots, snap pics with you on social media, go shopping with you. I mean, that's my specialty. Wow, that's a lot. But I do have a match in Japan coming up and I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed juggling it all. But it's more work work than what you described. I'd be looking for someone who could help arrange travel, maybe do a little research on some guests for captive audience, answer some basic publicity requests and emails, that sort of stuff. Probably not your thing. Are you kidding me? I love buying plane tickets and digging up dirt on your guests. Sign me up. Plus, I'm on my phone all the time. Could this be more perfect? It would be great to have some help. I've got a match against Dakota Kai, and with all this on my plate, I've barely had time to get to the gym. Maybe it's worth a try. Yes, tell me what I can do. I'll give you a list and see what you can tackle. Oh, and I'm sorry, but I do have some ring gear at the dry cleaners, and it'd be great if you could grab that. So cliche, I love it. Send me everything, not a problem, and you get yourself to the gym, boss. Taking her place at center stage, the truce. And as this match gets started, we're looking at an unflinching superstar ready to throw down. True words spoken. She's been itching to get this fight started for quite some time now, but it'll be interesting to see if she's bitten off more than she could chew. I believe she's coming to this match with the exact attitude needed for the challenge. But she's facing one dangerous superstar. Dakota Kai won't hesitate to stab you in the back. Friend or foe, if she thinks it'll get her what she wants, that deceitful ruthlessness makes her tough to contend with. That's a little harsh. I'd say Kai just has a defiant confidence, the courage to put herself first and look out for number one. What's important to her is winning matches, not making friends. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. Watch this display of power. It'll sit out powerbomb. Thunderous impact. She kicks out at one. Not yet. Spinning heel kick. Answering back. You're a Nagi. Man. Lands. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Hoisted all the way up. And what a maneuver we just saw there. I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. T-bone into a power slam. Things not going how she'd like. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Stalking a downed opponent. Here it comes. Damn the hammer. This spell is doomed for Kai. Cover! Two! And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner!
Have such a great time in Japan. I'm feeling so good about this trip for you. Thanks. I have to admit, it was nice to fully focus on training. I felt better facing Dakota Kai than I have in a while. And I can't remember the last time I got to the airport this relaxed. Do you have my flight info? So glad to be of service. Flight info, fun wrinkle. Apparently, it's a whole different day in Japan right now. Who knew? Anyways, time zones are really confusing and your flight's not for another eight hours. But no worries, you're here now and we have a car there to take you straight from the airport to the Japan Dome for your match. I don't even get to check into my hotel first? That's a long flight, Chelsea. There won't be any time for that. It's already tomorrow there. Crazy, right? Anyway, good news is I got you into the absolute best sushi restaurant in Tokyo after your match. You're welcome. I'm sure it'll be great, assuming I'm not too tired and can still eat solid foods. You're in luck. They have amazing soups. You'll love it. And since you'll be gone for a bit, I should totally have time to grab that dry cleaning before you get back. Thanks. And please do.
We've got some unexpected chaos as four women all showed up scheduled to face Cap, who is expecting a singles match. Nice of WWE to change this to a battle royal, so no one has to go home disappointed. That still doesn't explain why Cap's in straight clothes. Something's clearly off with her, and she better hope it doesn't carry over into the ring. Fred Press takes him down. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their minds. Who the forearm connects. And now we see Jane. Short clothesline hits its mark. Side rush and leg sweep, takedown, and uh, just raining down punches. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Strong forearm. And basement haymaker taking that. Great binding the legs. Kick to the body. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Flex through. Not done yet. Going for a third. Ooh. Chaining together punishment, looking to do as much as possible with this window. A knee right to the face. Oh. Oh, and that buys some time. Get this raw power. And Jay gave an opening, and it was capitalized on. Yeah, Don brought the fire in a major way on that exchange. Deep six. Good to see Jay. Really just win. for elimination here. Cora Jane has been eliminated. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. This could be it. Elimination time. As the has been Does that finish India? Inelegant exit, but... Here is your winner, Betty Snuka! Gotta hand it to our winner, standing tall with her arm raised tonight. This really felt like... It So glad you're here. We never discussed my benefits package. PTO, 401k. Yeah, we'll get right on that. After we discuss how you and Tiffany totally screwed up and never canceled a single one of my opponents. You expected us to do that? I think Tiffany pretty clearly said you can cancel the one you don't need. Are you serious? You and your assistant, which is crazy by the way, but whatever, are supposed to be making my life easier, not making me look incompetent. I didn't even have my gear. It was still at the dry cleaners. Do you hear yourself right now? I really don't like this energy. You're coming in with a lot of attitude and totally talking to me like a subordinate. What's that about? You are a subordinate. Okay, that's it. These working conditions are unacceptable. My assistant and I are on strike. <laughs> oh, I'll strike you. That's what's gonna happen. Threatening striking workers with violence? Pretty sure that's legally protected, and beside that, not cool. But I don't think we have any other recourse than to teach you a lesson. In the ring. I'd tell you to name the time and place, but I'm fairly sure you'd find a way to screw that up. So how about we just say raw next week? I'll check with Tiffany to make sure that works for my schedule, but fine.
Talk about surprises. It's Cap with Stacy Keebler. And their opponents, Betty Snuka and Stacy Keebler. Chelsea Green and Tiffany Stratton tried to take advantage of Cap, and she wasn't having it. Now, they're going to deal with a WWE Hall of Famer. Who hasn't competed in ages? Respect to Stacy, but this is a whole different ballgame. Will Cap recruiting Keebler pay off, or will ring rust be an issue here tonight? These two former assistants used to roll calls, and now they're trying to roll their ex-boss. I'd expect executive-level chaos. But Cap's relied on her Hollywood connections to recruit WWE Hall of Famer Stacey Keebler to join the enterprise. That's quite the merger. Let's see if there are more HR complaints or ER visits before this one's over. Put into the corner now. Nothing fancy, but very effective. Oh, God. There's a special word that I can't say on air for that type of slap. Hey, keep things T for team, Corey. Tremendous pressure applied. A mounting. And hammer it away. Just never had a chance to block any of those. right in the face. Chelsea on the receiving end. Chelsea one step ahead. Tag! Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Down with a face buster. Kick to the back. She hit the corner hard. Teeing off a series of brutal kicks. Looks like someone wants to shove Tiffany Silver Spoon down her throat. Yeah, very motivated Stacy in front of us. Oh, oh man, nasty kick. Attack to the midsection. Attack from behind. Right after the neck. Oh, sharp knee. the tag. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Watch out. The Spurs connects. Looking for the victory. There's two. And a big victory here tonight. Here are your winners. Stacy Keebler and Betty Snuka. Two great superstars that go great together and that win is proof put that match in a museum or a textbook so future teams can study to learn this craft Who's the best agent in the world? If the answer is anyone but you, it's gonna be really awkward. It is me! 
I've got two words for you. Trish. Stratus. And now I got six more. Is going to be on captive. Wait, sorry, miscounted. One more. Audience, how amazing is that? That is totally amazing. I can't believe a WWE legend is going to do my show. Is she a WWE legend too? That must be why she was so eager to come on. I just know you can barely turn on a TV in Canada without seeing her on it. She's basically a screensaver at this point. Well, however it happened, you did good. Thanks, Alfie. No problem. She's all set for next week. And all you have to do is fill in for Trish in a match against someone named Charlotte Flair and win. <laughs> oh, is that all? Look, Trish has got the flu, but still wants to ensure Charlotte loses. You've got a show, but need a guest. And I'm an agent who knows how to put both of those things together. So what do you say? Should I drop the contracts? Like I could say no to Trish Stratus on Captive Audience. You go iron out the details. I'll go flatten Charlotte Flair. Love it! Break a leg! Not literally. Try to stay in one piece, especially your face. But go get him. Up until an hour ago, everybody in the arena was expected to see Trish Stratus, including Charlotte Flair. Charlotte's got to be annoyed she had so little time to prepare for Cap. She gets to face an indie event instead of a Hall of Famer. Sounds like Charlotte's already won. Oh, nice balance. Into a double knee drop. Ooh, look at her answering back. Ouch. Oh, oh what a kick. to the midsection connects. That move was a thank you shot to the so-called benevolent queen. Big oh. splash in the corner. You saw the original. The director's cut. Big boot. Jeez. Ooh. Able to sidestep it. With the reversal. Hoist it up. Power. Power bomb. And then. Oh, oh knee to the face. Oh. Counter by Charlotte. She saw that one coming. Big boots. Telling her opponent that she has even more left in her tank. Bam. Kick. Off the rope, reversal, handspring cutter. Unbelievable. Here we go. And she doesn't connect. A stalemate of counters. She isn't. Oh, one rolling cutter. Followed by a second. And will they go for the hat trick? Yes, they do. Is that what it takes to beat Charlotte? There's two. Close. You cannot count out Charlotte Flair, no matter how hard you try. You have to go beyond your best. Lock it in, the Dragon Sleeper. That's it. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Uh -oh. Get to the ropes, forcing the break. A lot of damage done, but the ropes offer a reprieve. Ooh. And Charlotte is being controlled here. The Queen's perseverance being tested here. Me. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Got out of that position with the desperation jawbreaker. Just 
Vince got clobbered. Unexpected result there. Holy cow! What up? Rages athleticism. Pop up Hurricane Rana. From the apron. Ooh, she had enough of that. And she is just not giving her any room to breathe. She's fighting hard, and it is paying off. Brings the arm, ripped down into a backbreaker, into a rip cord lariat. Has the opponent right where they want. She manages to get control. Shoulder tackle. Flair moved at the right time. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Up and Silence is cinched in. Uh oh, the end. Unbelievable. This singles match is over. Yeah, hey, so, um, yeah, everything good? Yeah, what's going on? Where's Trish? Who? Oh, Trish Stratus, yeah. I'm sure it's fine, but she is not here. What do you mean she's not here? We've got a show to do. Where is she? I'm working on that now, left a few messages. She's kind of ghosting me, although, Natalia was here, and she had my phone for a bit, so maybe she saw a text. I could reach out to her. I don't really want her. She's trying to convince me to get some of her rescue cats on the show, and I was trying to explain that it really isn't that kind of show, but she could be really intense, and I, I just... I just uh. Alfie, focus. Figure out what's going on and get back to me. I can reach out, too, if you need. In the meantime, apparently I've got a few extra hours to get ready for Piper Niven tonight, so I'm going to take advantage. So it's a blessing! <laughs> this is a good thing! No, but I'm gonna take lemons and make lemonade. And you're gonna figure out why I'm sucking on so many lemons right now. On it. I'll let you know if I get any messages. You can see the focus and determination on her face. The powerhouse Piper Niven is ready to get this match underway. Lately, Piper has really had a chip on her shoulder. She's been eager to show the world what she's capable of by any means necessary. Yeah, she claims that she's just giving people the treatment they deserve. And in her mind, what they deserve is her particular brand. That's Trish Stratus' music. Looks like we've got a legend in the building. Or whoever's in control of the entrance music has an itchy finger. Has an answer for Niven. Jeez. Here it comes. Looking for the choke slam. She just rocked right for there, managing to shake the powerhouse. She can withstand the punishment, though. An overbearing amount of offense against Niven here. Niven's got to find a way to put her best foot forward here. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Kick to the body. Oh, right across the solar plexus. Stops. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. And a face crusher. Behind. 
high backbreaker delivery. And a whipcord lariat follows. She now has gotten herself. Stalking a downed opponent. Here it comes. Damn ball hammer. Nivens on her last breath. Cover. One. Two count. And this one is over. What the heck was that about? Any ideas what's going on with Trish? No, but we need to back burner the whole Trish sitch for a minute. <laughs> back burner? The whole somehow I've wronged WWE superstar and Canada's sweetheart Trish Stratus and don't know why thing? She ghosted my show, then convinced someone to distract me with her music, Alfie. Uh huh, because we've got another problem. Don't worry, I'm already on it, but the set for captive audience. It's gone. What do you mean, it's gone? Just that it was here, and now it's not here. The whole set? So we didn't have a show today because we didn't have Trish Stratus. And now we don't have a show ever because we don't have a set. Basically, the audience might have been captive, but the set sure wasn't. Sorry, uh, too soon. I knew it was as soon as I said it, but yeah. WWE is not super keen to pony up a bunch more dough for a set that we can't keep track of. Their words, but angrier when they said it. Great. We'll figure it out. I'll see who knows what. There's gotta be someone who saw something. We are seeing a mystery play out live on television here as Cap wants to make Natalia reveal who stole the set of her talk show. It's a real Agatha Christie, Michael. Who could have done such a terrible thing? The rumor mill saying that Trish Stratus is a prime suspect. Not surprise me a bit. Who wouldn't be jealous of Cap? She's not a superstar, she's a supernova. Big boom. into the corner. Boom! What a right! Gosh! They have them in the corner. Big oh. splash in the corner. Could be considered an unexpectedly rookie mistake from the veteran Natalia. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. And she dodges that one nicely. Momentum is clearly against Natalia now. Natalia needs to find an opening fast. From the top. Oh, what a landing! The one-two punch of high risk. High reward. Oh, here we go. This is raw power. Way up and down hard. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a power bomb with that much force. Lands a body shot. Deep six. Six feet deep. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Returning to the ring now. Need to hustle back to the ring. Just a few seconds left. I wonder if... Oh, using a suplex to set up a cutter. And that can vanquish Natalia. For the win! Two! An emphatic victory!
I've been on the phone all day. I've narrowed things down to about five or 36 suspects. It was Trish Stratus. 37 suspects. You sure it was her? I don't know why, but her behavior has made it clear that she has something against me. When I catch up to her, I'll ask. In between punches. She's out in LA opening a yoga studio and doing a charity match. Sneaky thief! She's got the public totally fooled. Then I've got a plane to catch. Wherever she's doing that match, get me on that card. Bumper scheduled opponent, pull any strings you have to. Consider it done! You don't know who might be in charge of that sort of thing and where I could find a number, do you? It's fine. I'll figure it out.
So I confronted Trish after the match. She's pretty adamant she didn't steal the set. And you believe her? She was very convincing. Of course, she's also a heck of an actress, so who knows? But she claims that we canceled the appearance on Captive Audience about 30 minutes before she was supposed to come on. That's why she had her music interrupt your match, to remind you not to forget about her. Why would she think we canceled? Probably because she got an email from me saying we were canceling her appearance on the show. It's in my sent mail. I didn't send it, though. I think I might have been hacked. It's kind of a rite of passage in Hollywood. So, this is actually pretty exciting for me. <laughs> you got hacked and all they did was send one email to Trish Stratus. Doesn't seem likely. Did anyone else have access to your phone? Only Natalia when she was putting in her number so I could call her about the cat act. It's kind of funny though, she kept making mistakes so it took forever. She's kind of hopeless. Or she was using that time to cancel Trish Stratus and then pointing a finger to keep me from looking at the surveillance tapes. Probably upset about not getting booked on the show. Still, stealing the set? I'm not sure she could have pulled that off by herself. She does have those cats. Dell, they're very good at moving furniture. If they were, they'd definitely get onto the show. That would be some good entertainment. But I'll look into who might have helped Natalia. Thank you, Alfie. Might be good for you to reach out to Trish. I'm not sure what the protocol is in WWE, but in Hollywood, if you fly cross country to fight someone, then realize the beef wasn't their fault, you usually at least send a text. I think that's pretty much universal. Good idea. Quiet on the set, please. Places, everyone, and action. And we're driving, we're driving this way. Oh, and this way. And we're looking at it, and we're looking at it. Oh, look at her. And we're running, and we're running, and we're running, and we're running. Creeping in, creeping in, creeping, backing out, backing out, backing out. And come in for a high five. And now stand back to back. Brilliant! Whoa, 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 whoa! Cut, 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 cut! What's going on here?
Look at this. Trish and Cap are on the case. This is ridiculous. This is a serious premium live event, not some infomercial to market outside products. That's right, Corey. Tonight, Backlash is brought to you by Down Up, Down Up, created and presented by The Miz. Will Trish and Cap find all the clues to lead them to victory, or will their opponents get away scot-free? Trish and Cap hoping to do double duty out here, taking care of Charlotte and Natalia, and promoting their new detective show. It's ridiculous. They look like two girls playing dress-up in Daddy's closet. This is one match where I do not back the blue. Well, someone's ending up black and blue one way or another. Look at this. Well scouted by Charlotte. Oh, what a right hook. Oh, an overhand punch. Tossed into the corner. Charlotte's expert game plan experiencing a minor hitch there. A lot of energy left. Fresh partner to tag. She's in about as good a position as you could hope to be. Still, tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Nick Breaker! Right to the leg. Caught the leg. Back and forth from these competitors. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Jam your leg in a bad way. Pump kick on target. Ooh. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. Well, that'll do some serious damage, and Charlotte can't find an answer for these attacks. Charlotte's got to get it together to avoid disaster. Oh, and a backbreaker! Right to the spine. Oh, quite an effective counter. Knew what was coming there. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Forearm to the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. Scoop slam. In off the tag. Big time glove line. Good grief. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Natalia. Here's a tag. Oh, the spear. Interceptor, boy. Oh. Deep six. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Oh, boom. Oh, oh, swept the leg right out from under. Boom. All she has to do is capitalize. Boom. Romero special. Oh, oh my God. Get the dragon sleeper locked in. 
Oh, nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. Could be tap tap time. This is the worst case scenario. Ow! And she releases the hold as she feels that enough damage has been done. Should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? She's losing some steam now. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Clearly waiting for that. Interceptor! What are they going to do here? Leg snap! The other end, too. Ouch. She sent back in under the ropes. Regain control with the takedown. Series of reversals. Brings the arm. Ripped down into a backbreaker. And a ripcord lariat follows. The switch here to Trish Stratus. Oh, man. Well placed kick. Watch out. like a force to be reckoned with in the women's tag team division.